Finally, we arrived at Baltimore Washington International, BWI Airport. I was ready for Miami and just to get out of Maryland. We got our tickets, then checked our bags and headed over to the security check. It was about 4.30 when we got through security. We walked to our gate and found a spot to sit down. We still had at least an hour before the flight. I pulled out my favorite book and started reading, while Toya was going on and on about something Stephen did. Damn, who is that? I heard Toya ask. While looking up from my book, I could see two sexy-ass dudes talking to one another. I mean, they were, I want to take your clothes off, have my way with type of sexy. I don't know, I replied, dropping my book as I took in the sight of them. When I bent down to pick it up, I got another look at them. They seemed to be in their early twenties. Come on, we need to get in line, Toya said, but I wasn't rushing. Standing up, Toya hit me to get my attention. I hope we see something like that in Miami. I nodded, wholly agreeing with her. We damn sure had our fair share of sexy, but damn, I whispered, following behind her. They turned and smiled at us as if they heard what we were saying. I laughed and looked away. Toya smiled and waved, saying, What's up? I hit her, telling her to save it for Florida as we boarded the plane. As we settled into our seats, I glanced over and happened to notice the two sexy-ass dudes we had just seen. Nudging Toya to get her attention, I whispered to her, Look, look, I said, pointing. The two men sat down across from us, and I could feel the dumbest smile form on my face. As they were settling down in their seats, I got a decent look at them, and damn... They were fine as hell. I started smoothing my hair down, hoping it was okay. I looked over at one of them, careful not to be obvious that I was checking him out. He was easily 6'2 or 6'3. He had smooth brown skin. His eyes were a beautiful hazel. No, no, light brown eyes. A light brown golden honey color. I couldn't figure it out. All I knew was that I could feel his eyes drawing me into him. Impossible, I told myself, shaking it off. His lips were so sexy with that smile he had across his face. Then I realized he spoke to me and asked, Hey, how are you today? Coming back to reality when Toya nudged me, I realized I was just staring at him without even responding. I bit my lip and smiled, knowing I was caught. It's getting better every minute, it seems. How are you? I smiled at him, and then I looked away as he smirked back. I'm feeling the same as you. As I turned to look at Toya, she was already smiling and waving at his friend, They all just flocked to her, I thought, as I waved a hello to the other one. I got a close look at him, too, when he waved back, and damn, he was as impressive as hell also. Where have they been all our lives? He had brown skin, light brown eyes, smooth lips, a brilliant smile, and perfect teeth. He had to be about the same height as his friend, And from the looks of his muscular arms, I couldn't help but wonder if he played some sort of sport. Basketball, maybe? Or was it football? Leaving it to Toya, the information finder, to start in on the questions, I sat back and listened. 